Boatworks today is sponsored by Total Boat and Alexia Yacht Coatings, as well as supported by the generosity from the beautiful folks over on Patreon. Thank you so much. Hey, you can hear the guys. I gotta hurry up. So, welcome back to the shop, everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. My name is Andy with Boatworks today, and this week we're finishing the transom. We're getting the last bit of the Kusa in and just cross that one off the list. And also, I got a little bit of a surprise that I got yesterday. Kind of excited about that, but more on that at the end of the video. So, with that said, let's get started. So I brought this last panel up on the boat, set it in place, I'm doing a little bit of a dry fit just to make sure I'm not going to have any hiccups or anything when I'm actually mounting this for real and the back is all slathered up with epoxy. Now as I uh, no surprise, there is a little bit of fine tuning or tweaking that needs to be done. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take all that long. So as you can see, when I actually go to mount this, I'm going to be securing this with screws and washers. Now I kind of stopped a little bit, uh, there's still more that needs to be done obviously, but what I'm looking for is, well here's, I already had one in place, but I want to make sure that when I go through and, and tighten up these screws that everything sucks in tight. And this top part actually does. When I get this screw in place, this top part actually closes up and it looks good. Now, where I run into a little bit of an issue is right down in here. Uh, that's a good, probably half inch gap. And while I can, you know, kind of force it in place, when I do that, it opens up the top. So what I'm seeing here is that I've got a little bit of a fulcrum point right through here. So I need to come in, at least on this corner, sand that down so it's a little bit more flush. And then hopefully, uh, I think I'm still going to have to kind of torque this down a little bit, but I don't want to have to torque it down this much. So right now, I've already made a little mark here. I need to come in and do some sanding here. And then down on the bottom, there's something that's hanging this up. I think it's just catching on a little piece of uh, fiberglass that's sticking up a little proud there. So need to come in, do some sanding there. Now over on the port side, everything looked really good up, you know, across the top until I get right about in here. Now this, that little gap there, that just will not close up all the way out to the end. Sides, eh, kind of the same deal, but down here at the bottom around the corner, this closed up real nice, so I think it's probably uh, you know something as simple as I've got a little piece of schmutz kind of holding this corner out. I'm hoping that's all it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this panel and address those areas that I just went over. Hopefully that that fixes everything, and when I come in and do another dry fit here, everything you know sucks in nice and tight. I'm not gonna be surprised if it doesn't. It's this is usually one of those situations where you correct one issue and then you find a, another one kind of crops up down the road. So we we shall see. But let me get this off. Let me get these areas addressed and see how it goes. Well, let's see what kind of difference this is going to make. Now, before I put the panel in place, I'm going to show you how much material I actually had to remove. 
Now over on the port side, not too bad. I mean, it's down to, I don't know, maybe half the thickness, so a little over a quarter inch thick. But, it does lay very flat now. There's a little bit down here at the bottom, but uh, between the epoxy and a little bit that the coos is going to flex, I think we're in good shape. Now over on the starboard side, a uh, little bit more material had to get uh, taken away. So almost all of it right in through here. This was, it, it, it was just peaked, you know, pretty severely. But we're now nice and flush. So that's a good thing, right? So a little bit of a bummer that I had to remove as much material as I did over on the starboard side, but that's all right. I'll just, I'll give it a little bit of extra love with the fiberglass when I get to that point. <laughs> so, uh, but let me grab the panel, put this in place. This should fit a lot better now. Ah, it's a beautiful sight. Not that. That's, <laughs> that's a friggin' mess. But that, that I'm happy with. So it's already getting a bit late in the day. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this panel get everything cleaned up. As you saw, I got a bit of a mess going on back here. So I'm going to do all the cleaning, all the prep work, get everything laid out so that first thing tomorrow morning, it's basically go time. Uh, time to mix and mix and spread. So that's going to be the plan. Uh, so cleaning, organizing, not very interesting. So I will see you in the morning. So good morning. At least I'm hoping it's going to turn out to be a good morning. Now before I actually get started here, I just want to go over roughly what the game plan is going to be because once I start mixing, I ain't stopping. And just like I've shown in the past, I'm going to somewhat pre-thicken uh, all the epoxy that I think I'm going to end up having to use. Now, in total, I'm going to mix up five batches uh, that are 12 ounces each. So it'll be eight ounces of the resin, then four ounces of the hardener, and then however much silica it takes to actually get to the thickness that I'm looking for, which is somewhere between mayo and peanut butter. Now, I don't know that five batches is going to be enough. It's going to be really close, but I've got a little, a little filling to do uh, in addition to actually you know, coating the back side of this panel. And by that I'm referring to any of these little gaps or seams between these different uh, sections of CUSA. Now along the bottom I do have a bit of an area to fill just in that center piece right in there. It's about a half inch by half inch and then same thing going over on the starboard side. All right, let's take a little bit of a closer look-see here and so you can kind of see how things are going. Now, this is exactly what I'm looking for. I got just a little bit of squeeze out, pretty much all the way across the top, sides, even down there, over the starboard side. Oops, <laughs> similar kind of deal. So I am going to call that a win. Um, I'm not going to touch this thing for a couple more days, but before this epoxy does set up, I'm going to come over and smooth over any of that squeeze out. Now I'm sure there's going to be more squeeze out that kind of happens over the next half hour or so as, you know, all the, the, the epoxy that I spread just kind of gets compressed, you know, more or less. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to smooth out what has already squeezed out just so that I don't have all these meat hooks <laughs> hanging over here when I come over uh, and give her, give her a feel tomorrow morning. So, piece of cake, I don't know that you really need to see that, but uh, I'll show you, maybe I'll show you a quick picture after it's all smoothed over, but whew, that was a lot of epoxy. 
That was, in total, let's see, that was six batches. So six times 12, 72, uh, plus the fluff that the filler added. So not bad. Uh, I will say that the first batch that I laid up, that was just starting to kind of tighten up on me a little bit as I was spreading out the last of uh, the buckets. So I, it took, to coat the panel, took five buckets. And then I needed one additional bucket to fill in the gaps and the seams before I put this in place. But in any event, I'm going to smooth this over and, uh, yeah, let the epoxy do its thing. I like it when it sounds solid. <laughs> All the way across. So at this point, I'm just gonna let the epoxy cook and do its thing over the weekend and before I start backing out screws or whatever. I'm, everything feels like it's set up and, and solid right now. Uh, the epoxy is nice and hard. You know, you can snap little chips when, you, when I test them. So everything is technically set up, but yeah, better safe than sorry. I'm just gonna let it cook over the weekend. Now, speaking of next weekend uh, or next week, uh, I got a little bit of a surprise yesterday morning. Um, the addition that we're planning on putting on the side of this building, well, I, I didn't think that we were going to be actually pulling the trigger on that until late spring, maybe early summer, you know, May, June-ish. Well, I got a call from my builder, and he's like, yeah, we're starting Monday morning, as in like in three days from now. <laughs> so the, all the materials have been dropped off and delivered. They're hauling them up to the building right now. And uh, yeah, so their plans are to get started and get it, get it framed and, and roofed and everything you know, next week. Ought to be interesting. There's three feet of snow on the slab, which I get to clear over the weekend, but eh, that's right. Tractor time, I guess. So, but anyways, because of that though, they're gonna be out here working literally 10 feet away from me, you know, cutting and you know, nail guns and compressors and all this stuff. I'm not gonna be able to do any recording in here. Uh, they're gonna be here it sounds like the entire week. I don't know if they're going to be here over the weekend as well. Uh, I think they just, I think, I, I think they're hoping to be able to get the whole thing framed and roofed in one week. We shall see. Uh, weather looks to be pretty decent. But anyways, because of that, I'm not going to be able to be in here re doing any recording. So for next week, then, unfortunately, there will be no video for next week. I might you know, do some recording here and post uh, some little updates over on Patreon. Uh, for anybody here that's going to be, uh, they'd be interested in what they're seeing any of that. But anyways, with that said, um, I'm out of time. Uh, they're sitting here working in and out. I can't do any more cutting or, or I can, my hands are tied. It's the end of the week and it's just time to switch gears. So with that said, I think I'm going to button this week up. So as always, uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Crossed a milestone this week. Transom is in. The only thing that's left is the glasswork and well, then the knees and then get the, uh, yeah, glasswork, but that's all right. I can, I, I'm, I'm fine with that. The, the hard part is done and I'm happy with it. I like that. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, uh, please feel free to leave those down below. I'll do my best to get back with you. And as always, thank you for your time. Thanks for watching, have a great weekend and I will see you in two weeks. Two weeks. Wish me luck on the building. <laughs> Have a great weekend. This has been a Boatworks Today Protection.